Hey y'all, I am back with another video. Um, so my plan is to be way more consistent with you guys. And what are the ways to be more consistent since I have to be consistent on my weight loss journey to keep you guys updated with it on YouTube. I have my notes right here as posted in the title of this video is well it's ways that you know you're in ketosis i will give you the top five ways but for me i found more um i've noticed more signs that i'm in ketosis versus the normal five so i'll start with the five basic and then i'll pop in with my own so first off i want to tell you guys what ketosis is if you don't know this transition it takes up to 48 hours to a week to become in ketosis. Um, basically what it is, is when your body, I'm gonna to try to explain it the best way I was learned, taught, but when your body um, no longer has sugar and um, processed sugars and stuff inside, it has to start feeding off your own fat. So basically, you it takes 48 hours up to one week to get into ketosis for your body to fully eat away at the sugars and the processed food that you have in you and then to start burning your own fat. That's what ketosis is. So five ways to know you're in ketosis. One, this one for me was a dead giveaway. Um, bad breath. So it's like... I always tell people it feels like that morning breath, but even after you brush your teeth, you still have a morning breath like throughout the day. So what I did was I took a travel toothbrush to work with me and I literally brushed my teeth while I was at work in other places because yeah, no boy. Weight loss is number two. The second way you know you're in ketosis is by losing weight. For me, week one, I lost like eight or nine pounds immediately. Um, so once I hit ketosis, I knew it because like the weight just fell off, like no lie. Um, number three, increase of energy. It took me, um, I didn't notice my increase of energy right away, you guys. I'll say it took a week and a half I'm officially in week three of being on the keto diet the correct way. So it took me a, about a week and a half to actually realize that I had an increase of energy. But when I look back on the days that I was actually in ketosis, um, I did have an increase of energy. I went from feeling sluggish when I wake up in the morning like, huh, I don't want, want to go to work. I don't want to do anything. Like, you know, you don't want to get up in the morning. I, I went, stopped feeling like that and it was, when my alarm clock went off, I was up and ready. Like, I felt the boost of energy. Um, another one that you'll probably um, notice before you get this increase of energy is insomnia. This also hit me hard i keep looking this way because the baby is in there and i don't want him to fall and cheyenne is watching him but whatever um yeah so i had a inc i had um fatigue and insomnia when i say this you get this because while your body is in ketosis it literally it's burning fat so it doesn't want to stop burning fat because it's like, hey, I got this new source of fuel and I really, really, really want to use it, like burn it. So your body is constantly burning fuel. So it doesn't really want to stop burning fuel, if that makes sense. So your body is up because of that. Also, that increase of energy that you have. Um, mm, another one from this one is definitely for me. I think we're on bad breath weight loss insomnia increase of energy um thirst number five thirst yes i drink i have a water bottle that's 24 ounces 
I drink probably eight of those a day, like no lie. Um, and if I'm at work, I'll drink, I work at Starbucks. Um, we have the Trenta size 30 ounce cups of um, cups, cold cups. I'll drink two of those, plus I'll be drinking on my bottle of water throughout the day. And still when I come home, I'm drinking bottles of water and I'm drinking out of my water bottle. It's, if that water bottle is not by me, I'm grabbing a bottle of water or I'm grabbing a, grabbing a cup of water. But my thirst has increased tremendously since um, I've been in ketosis. Something else, it kind of piggybacks, which will be number six, another way you can tell. This piggybacks off of the bad breath. Um, so I work out this first month I've been working out. You do not have to work out while you're on keto because you're gonna lose the weight regardless. But I wanna help my body. So I've been helping it by working out. Um, I noticed that my sweat stinks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sweat, you have a, a body odor when you work out and you're sweaty. But this is a whole, this takes it to a whole nother level. Um, I don't like the smell. Yeah, so literally, as soon as I work out, and some, like today I worked out, I went walking twice today, and I still took two showers. Like, the smell is not normal. But I I was like, is it just me? But I, I saw other videos where people were saying that they had experienced the same thing. But yeah, so definitely your sweat smells. It's a different type of smell. You guys will know if you work out during ketosis, you'll know what I mean. Because the smell is different. It's, it's not where it's at. But I don't know why. But yeah. Um, I think that's it for these. So I guess in all six total ways you will know the train ketosis i mean there's other ones like some people have digestive issues um again i said fatigue so technically it's seven but i'm gonna stick with six because some of them piggyback off each other yeah so six total ways you know the train ketosis one bad breath weight loss fatigue insomnia thirst um increase of energy and this um, stinky sweat, I'm gonna piggyback that one off of bad breath, bad body odor. But like I said, if you work out and then take a shower, you don't have any problems. Cause literally when I work out, I take a shower. So yeah, those are the six or seven, however you wanna look at it. Ways that you'll know you're in ketosis. If you have any more keto questions or low carb questions, I'm fairly new at it, but I've been doing tons of research. I have tons of notes written down, tons of um, copies of things from other people and other sources. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop your comment down below and ask me whatever you need to ask. Also, if you have not done so already, click on my picture in the corner and subscribe like this video and i will see you guys later on in the week with another one it may be either a weight loss video or a meal prep for my keto um but yeah so i will see you guys later peace